Hello YouTube, welcome to my garage. This will be the final part of the uh, clamshell installation. I kind of put off this section uh, demonstrating how to lift the clam open and close it. Um, did take some videos prior. I, I didn't really like the video, so I just been putting it off. So I've uh, put up and down this clamshell, rear clamshell kit about half a dozen times or so. So um, I can do them about oh 10 minutes or so so i'm gonna show kind of the intricacies and little bits of what you have to do i'm not gonna try to do this the fastest um so first thing you have to do uh if you have something in the uh trunk you know you need to get that out because obviously you're gonna have to access some bolts back there uh the clamshell is uh held down by a lot of these uh thumb bolts and there are uh, two of the things you do need a tool for, and that comes with the the kit uh, is a I believe it's a five millimeter hex wrench. So they give you a nice uh, one in the kit. However, I, I do just have a normal hex wrench that I just keep in the car. Uh, I do have the 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 one they get gave in the kit too, and that one's kind of nice. So first things first, uh, let's talk about how this uh, is being held down. So if you install this, you'll have two thumb bolts, one here, holding it, uh, one on the other side. Uh, you do have four of the same thumb bolts in the trunk. So let me open the, the trunk here. Um, I have a different uh, latch set up than some people. So if you look in here, there's one there where the battery is, and there's uh, going to be one hidden under kind of the foam here, right there. So there are two on each side. And on top of that, the uh, soft top striker plate also needs to come out. Uh, in addition, there are, and this is where these come from, there are the thumb bolts that uh, go from here on up and I don't ever see the the people that I see have this kit and kind of demonstrate this online don't put this on and I don't also don't put this on and I can understand why it's because you end up having to reach into that right here and you're kind of working your hand in between your your tire and this and it's it's kind of really hard to get to it and uh, so most of the people I see at least leave these off. So that's why I have two extra here. So I'm just going to put that away. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm not trying to do this the fastest I can. But so first off is to reach into here. And, and I do have these pretty snug in here. Let me get to these. Uh, the, there you go. So you do have to reach because the passenger side doesn't doesn't uh, go back and forth. But um, I never have to put them. So there's one there. They all have like a little different spacers on them. This one's aluminum, has a little hand there. And when I when I get them out, I just kind of put them in my cup holder. Uh, while I'm on this side, I'm also going to take off the the striker plate here. So. Make sure to be careful not to scratch your paint while doing this. And uh, I, the the one thing I'll note is when you're putting this up and down, you can you can do it one person, but I think it's best to have. Um, two people to help you, one on each side, and, and we'll, we'll discuss why, because this, this, uh, piece of, uh, fiberglass, it has a tendency to try to go on the wrong side, and so, if you're not careful, you can, you can see I kind of maybe scratched a few times. Uh, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. Okay, so, uh, another thumb bolt right here. Okay, same thing, it's got aluminum 
spacer in there. And we'll do the uh, soft top latch. The, uh, the tool that comes with the kit is a, a little T-handle. And so um, if you guys want to carry that piece, um, that's, that's very useful to have. Otherwise, I just have a 5 millimeter. All right. Okay. Uh, these comes with a little, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a captive washer. But I think I've lost one. So... Oh, yeah, the, the captive washer kind of gets stuck with that piece. I think I damaged it, so I'm just going to keep these two together. All right, so um, other than the two that I did not put in on that side, I'm ready to go in the trunk. So I do have a, a cameraman here to help me out because uh, I, I do got to reach in there. go so um, again you gotta hold it open while you're working in here and then so um, this side's real easy obviously uh, if, if you have a battery and you decide not to do the relocation kit you'll have to take the battery out and get all that so these have the thumb screws with uh, a washer this washer and this there's a rubber washer and then an aluminum or a metal washer this would have been where your old uh, bolting went through. So you're just given a thumb screw. So there's one there. And uh, this one you gotta peel back a little bit. There's another one. I find it that sometimes when you're putting it on and off, sometimes you have to put some like pressure down on the clam. Otherwise you kinda fighting the upward force on it. So another one there. And we're gonna do the same on the other side here. This side is gonna be uh, under the, right there. You can see you're gonna have to peel back the carpet a little bit. This one, uh, we didn't quite have tight. It came off really easy. We'll look at that one. And then the last one would be right under the carpet here. All right, so four in total. I'm gonna go put that in, keep these all together, so right there. So right now, the clam is loose. So if you uh, if you tuck on the clam, you can see that it it, it does move. However, um, there's there's a right way of doing this, and that's to 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 lift up on the rear before you pull it before you tilt it. If you do not do that, if you just go ahead and just try to tilt it without pulling up on the rear, it's going to bind somewhere in the hinge. hinge. So if you're by yourself, what, what you end up doing is you end up uh, kind of pulling it up. However, since uh, we got two people, we're going to set the camera and I'll show you what I mean with, uh, with having two people help. So set the camera all right you're gonna get this view all right I'm gonna have one helper so so what you do is you come on this side and then you make sure you're you're pulling up here Sandra would you go over there please Yep. There, just, just hold this on that side. Okay. Right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure... Alright, as you can see, i got to lift up. Okay, so, here, hold on one second. 
So I'll, I'll run you through the problem and what, what that happened. Was basically this, this front part was getting stuck on here. But once you kind of get that loose, what you want to do is make sure this back gets up and then, and then you're able to tilt it. So definitely don't fight it if you start trying to tilt it and it fights you, that means the back hinge is not pulled up all the way yet. So, so at this point, let's see. So, so at this point we're we're up. So um, that wasn't too bad. This is being held up right now by that uh, cable. And there's a couple things that I did. Um, first off, you have to be mindful of which, uh, if you guys have a rear tow hook that attaches to the frame, this is a inokinetic one and it did not fit because uh, the clam kept hitting it here. So I had to, I was trying to do a couple things, including bending it down, and that didn't work out well. So right now I just have it cut where it's um, sticking out. I do have like a loop that I can throw on here. Um, I believe the BOE one, which instead of horizontal, so it's vertical, fits. So, uh, so yeah, that is how you put it up. Um, there's a couple things that I did independently uh, since the last video that I haven't shown these uh, frame plugs I've uh, 3d printed these so this this would have been an open plug so I got some frame plugs or sorry they, these are like roll bar plugs uh, also my the way I figured out I made a washer bottle so as you guys know the washer bottle hooks onto here so what you have to do every time you do this, you have to disconnect the washer bottle, kind of set it down here. So instead I kind of made one right here um, that uh, I made this out of PVC and I stuck the the washer pump down there. Uh, it, it does mean every time I want to fill this up, I have to I have to tilt the clam, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it hasn't leaked and it works and a little bit of volume, not quite as much as the old one, but that's fine. Uh, and then these uh, shim uh, pads, these were uh, stacked shims. I uh, end up measuring the thickness of them. They're all a little different. And then I uh, 3D printing those and kind of uh, siliconing them to the frame so they, those don't have to come off. This one I had to cut the radius otherwise it wouldn't have sat straight. Uh, these are PETG and so far they're holding up. Uh, you know, I don't think there's a lot of direct heat on them. Uh, the other thing I did, and this was because I was struggling with the balancing of this, was uh, I do have some uh, struts. So this strut is made so that it, you know, it takes some pressure off and. What you guys saw when I was pulling it up and it was kind of uh, fighting me a little bit was because, I, you know, I'm just basically letting the strut do its work. It does help when you put it up and down by yourself that, that you know, once you get it over the tipping point, it doesn't automatically just fall down. Uh, I have not done that on that side yet. Um, I'm kind of researching that side. A lot of people say it's uh, there's a lot of heat. Uh, you know, that's right where the... Uh, exhaust comes in uh, on this side I've, I've thrown on some some um, heat uh, what do you call it? wrapping uh, and so far I have no problems with this and these are just cheap uh, Amazon ones so I think they're ten twenty dollars um, I am looking at trying to do it on that side that means I have to kind of remove the um, toe toe hook so I, I just haven't done that on that side yet and then one thing that I uh, I also do is uh, when I'm when I'm at places 
outside that I put this up, like at a show or something. I do worry sometimes about the wind just taking it over and, and flopping it down. So I do have like a prop rod that I, I kind of jam in between the body and up there if I need to. Uh, and yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the whole putting it up. Now putting it down, the, the only thing you worry about is when you, and as you can see, I can put it down with one hand because of that strut. Is when you start lowering this, you have to make sure that this part goes on this side of the frame. It has a tendency to want to try to get caught behind here. And then so when I'm at, uh, when, I, when I have a helper... I'll have one person on that side, one person on this side to try to guide to make sure it comes on this side of it. Um, and then the struggle you guys saw me with with opening it is basically getting over this lip. So that clam sits on this side, and so I've I've uh, you know radius this as much as I could, but you know. I can probably find out where it's getting caught. If it's getting caught right here, that does take a little bit of an extra pop to pop it over this lip and, and, and do that. And then, yeah, so you guys can see how the hinge works. And so just make sure you, you practice it if you guys are installing it, uh, you know, with the helper uh, a little bit before you kind of do it yourself. And uh, there's, yeah. And then, oh, one, one other thing that I did is, you know, since you're going to be uh, tugging on this area. I just threw, I didn't have to drill any holes. There were some existing holes, um, on the fiberglass, but I threw a little, uh, uh, extruded U channel just to get a little extra support right here. So when, when I'm pulling on this, I'm not just pulling on one point. Um, and so anyways, uh, I do have another video that I'm going to make about what I'm gonna work on this winter. But as far as, uh, as far as the video about the clam kit, I, I think this is gonna be it. So I'm, I'm gonna show you how I put it down real quick. I'm not gonna walk through all the bolts. You guys saw the thumb screws and bolts, but I'm gonna ask my helper to come on this side while I go work on that side. All right, so the best way that I've seen to work on putting it down is having one person on each side. Sandra, would you stay on that side? So you're going to lower this, and then at some point you're going to overcome, for, for me, the shock, the strut I have there. So it has a tendency to want to go behind here. So could you grab right here, Sandra? And then you're going to want to kind of pull it forward and you want to make sure that it goes on the front. You make sure that it goes on the front. There. Sander, put one hand right where the wheel, top of the wheel is. Okay, and then kind of lift up on the back and then push it forward. Stay right there. Okay. So after we have somebody there, I'm going to be able to lift up and forward on it as we go down. Oh, you got it? Okay. So as you see when it... So this is perfect. It did go on this side, but there's just a little bit of a, a step you have to do to make sure it falls under that side. And then after that, you uh, you know, the clam's free to to push down. There's the you know obviously it's not going to be secured until you put all the the thumb bolts and all that through. But all right, that concludes this video. Um, thank you for watching, and thank you for subscribing.